This instructional video is designed to show you the mathematical version of how to prove something is a state function. In this case, we start with the mathematics of stating that your function that you're considering is a function of its variables, whatever the case may be. Now, in this case, it's possible to take the total differential. Uh, if you review from the calculus, that means that df, you will take the partial of it with respect to each variable, multiplying it by the differential itself, and by repeating this for each variable, if we had three, four, or five, we would just extend this all the way out, you have the total differential. Now, once you have the differential of this, then the next step, step two, step three, is to show somehow that the total differential is exact. So if we can show this is exact, that suffices as a mathematical proof that the original function we were working with is in fact a state function. Now what that means on a practical level is that when we write out an expression for partial f partial c, uh, the only variables we have remaining are in terms of c, and the partial f partial b, the only thing we have are uh, b's. As an example, we can compare the inexact differential for bq versus the exact differential for entropy. In this case, what we have is that bq is a heat capacity function only in terms of temperature, dt. So this part is exact, but then because we have PdV, if we substitute in in our t over v dv, we find that we have function of temperature, d temperature, function of temperature and volume, d volume. This renders this as being an inexact differential. So this is a function of T and V, but when we take the partials, we don't get what we need. Over here, for entropy, we get a function of temperature times D temperature, and NR over V dV. So we have functions of just temperature, DT, functions of just volume, dV. And so while both of these are functions of the same two variables. This one does not give us an exact differential, so it is not a state function. This one gives us an exact differential, so it is a state function. And this is the mathematical version of executing that proof.